Hello, everyone. Let me tell you a little bit about me. Every time I get my hair done, I'm so concerned about what it's going to look like for the next few days and how long my hairstyle is going to last. I go to bed hoping I don't mess up my hair. I wake up and just immediately go to the mirror and make sure that my hair looks good. So my hair is so important to me, so extremely important to me to the point where I'm worried about it looking good and it matching my overall style. I assure you, I am not the only person that thinks this way. In fact, style, beauty, and hair care are at the heart of the African-American community. I'm Jovan Walker, and I've spent my fair share of money over the span of all of my life at mom and pop hair stores with limited resources and expensive retailers in which I really could not afford just to maintain my hair care standards. I represent millions of African-Americans across the universe who've experienced this, but now are overcoming these hair hurdles, he, these retail hurdles, one day at a time. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the CEO and founder of Crown Mob, Mr. Ricardo Grant. I have discovered the $12 billion industry that is overlooked and underserved. Now you may be asking yourself, how is that even possible? Well, my name is Rico Grant. I am the CEO and co-founder of Crown Mob, and I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Early last year, I got a knock at the door, boom, 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 and it's this guy, the guy who never brings a package for me. In fact, today's package is for my wife. This is my wife's face when she receives her beauty package. As she opens up the box, what she pulls out is three bundles of hair, weaves and extensions that she uses for style and a boatload of products associated with that product to maintain it over the course of its lifetime, only about 90 days. Now, to her credit, when I met her, she had it in and it looked good, so <laughs> I'm kind of okay with this, right? But I'm a husband now, and more importantly, I'm a frugal husband. <laughs> so what I really want to know is, how much does it cost? And this is my how much does it cost face. <laughs> when I ask this question, she blows me off. Nah, I don't worry about it. Well, that's the last thing that I want to hear. So what do I do? I check our credit card statements, find out for myself. And what I found was shocking. My wife was spending $2,000 a year in hair care products alone. We're not even talking about the service. What's even more staggering about this number is that she's not alone, she's not by herself. She represents one of the 40 million consumers who spend this kind of money every year. Now, when I went to her with this information and I said, babe, what, really, $2,000 a year? What she told me was real. She said that when she walks into the local grocery store and she goes to aisle 15, the ethnic beauty aisle. And if you've ever been to the grocery store, the next time you go, look up at aisle 15 and see what it says. She said that there's a four by four shelf with about 10 or 15 products on it, half of which she's never heard of. And there's no way she can trust it. She told me that when she gets online, she does web searches. Depending on how much time she has, she can spend hours, if not days, trying to find a product specific for her hair care needs. Well, so what she ends up doing is going to a mom and pop hair store or an online marketplace, small retailer, one-off retailer, who knows about the pains of the industry and that they got the market cornered and she overspends. She's forced to overspend her money, always feeling cheated. Her big problem was the trust. She just doesn't trust it. She doesn't trust the quality, and she doesn't trust the curation. All of these things combined bring us to this. Black hair care is rocket science. <laughs> it is absolute rocket science, and it's sad. And you're probably wondering how. I'll show you. This is my average consumer journey when they're trying to find a hair care product. First, they do a web search. And as I said, they can spend hours, if not days there. 
And often, quite honestly, it's only pulling up results for white hair care products. And I think we all know the difference here. Then they jump on any social media platform they can find using hashtags. <laughs> I repeat, hashtags. Hashtag bundle, hashtag black hair care, hashtag moisturizer, which that's sad that we have to go that far to spend a dollar. And then what happens is they jump into the group me or maybe a group chat. My wife's group chat is called Girlfriends I Only Know because I kind of snoop through her phone every once in a while, <laughs> right? Product research. <laughs> And, they, and they, ask, they ask for referrals. Where can I find this product? But the problem with that is her friends can't find it either, right? And then they end up at some mom and pop hair salon or hair shop or store or with a one-off retailer only to maybe settle for a product. And guess what? If they don't find anything, guess what they got to do? They got to come back. And they got to find something, one of these resources all over again. Well, the reason I'm here today is to inform you that those days are no more. Crown Mob is a curated online marketplace based on quality, I said based on quality, designed specifically for black hair care. Not bicycles, not sneakers, not books, black hair care, it's all we need. We allow our users to jump on our platform and through filtering options, drill down on their specific hair care needs, whether that's tone, texture, quality, and most importantly, price, and buy directly from our platform. Now I know what you're thinking. Is he mixing up this stuff in his basement? Is he flying out to China to find it? You're absolutely wrong. We are what you call an inventory free company. The way we do that is we partner with retailers all across the country, quality retailers, allowing them to brand and market their products on our platform. To take it even further, we provide all our retailers with a back-end dashboard allowing them to fulfill all their e-commerce needs. For the first time in history, they can print out and ship your labels, slap it on a box, and send it out the front door. That's how easy it is. $12 billion. That's what we're talking about here, $12 billion. And I'm looking at these guys over here, and they're just nudging each other, saying there's got to be some competition in that space. And you're right. Since we're talking about rocket science, our strongest competition has to be NASA, right? <laughs> I mean, seriously. I say that jokingly, but it's actually, if you think about it, it's quite sad. It's quite sad that a market this large can go so underserved for so long. I can't make many guarantees on this stage today, but the one thing I can say, the one guarantee I can make is that there are no African-American rocket scientists coming down to save black hair anytime soon. <laughs> That's okay, though. They left it to me. In all actuality, this is our largest competitor. The mom and pop hair stores that sits in the, in, the, in the heart of every black neighborhood across the United States. Our customers spend hours in these stores, overspending money, and they have no way of checking if the product, product is quality or not. And if they, even if they wanted to consult someone, well, if you look close enough, this guy in the back is Korean. <laughs> what can he possibly tell this African-American woman about putting in her hair? Let's be realistic. Seriously, our revenue model is simple. We earn commission on all products sold. We keep it clean. Our traction to date, in March of 2017, Crown Mod was an idea on a napkin, literally. By September of 2017, we were accepted into the Uptech Accelerator program. We had about 25 products committed to the platform and about 50 users, all my friends and family, for no other reason, but they love me, <laughs> right? Before we talk about where we are today, and this is not an excuse. What I want you to keep in mind is that we have one sales rep on the team, and I am him. Every product that is offered on our platform, every retailer who sells on our platform, I specifically pitch to, show them instant value and sign them up within minutes. Today, we offer over 3,000 products on our platform. We have over 4,000 registered users who are shopping every day. We launched this platform four weeks ago, to date. And since then, we've grown our revenue and sales by 52%. We spent $422 in marketing, y'all. This thing is going viral, and that's exactly what's going to help us grow. We've got the team to pull it off. Myself, Rico Grant, CEO and co-founder. I've got a background in sales and marketing. If you can't tell, I'm a bit of a sales guy. 
And our CTO, Jordan Crone, who has, also has an excellent eye for UI and UX design, keeps us nice and lean. We've got a great list of advisors, but two I'd like to highlight. Jeffrey Johnson, a 15-year veteran of BET, Black Entertainment Television. Jeff's contacts include some of the top influencers in black culture today, which we plan to use to leverage our brand. And Rodney Williams, who I heard is here, he just crept in on me somewhere, who personally advises me as a CEO on how to represent our company with style and grace. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or rude remarks, I encourage you to reach out to me personally. Rico at crownmob.com. We will forever change the way the black hair care industry is owned and operated. And again, I'm glad you asked. Thank you.